intelligence. Perhaps they'll be able to tell the voices here. There's something else you You want to turn that down so I can listen? That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. Never mind. What is, what is it? it? It's, it's nothing, nothing truly, truly to me. He's, He's working, working with Ranrock, and Ranrock's after, after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a court key that led us there after the dragon attack. attack. It's, it's a bit of a long, long story, story, and Fig asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness! Well, that well, certainly, certainly helps explain, explain a bit about what's telling everybody. Yes, of course. You're absolutely Come on up here, Bambi. We'll meet with them, tell them about the snitches, and I'm sure it will be fun. Uh oh. I don't think he's gonna be fine. They coming in force. They ready to fuck us up. Oh shit. Get him, look at him. Oh yeah. Yeah, get him. Get him, baby. Yeah. Let him know. One, do you think they attacking me, baby. Get him. We won't have to speak with you. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I suppose you'd like a tale like for your friends from the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No, no, never. We're here because we need your help. Hear up. Hear up. You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, here, little witch. witch. We need them to be an We do not harm the young. It is, it is not, not our way. way. You forget your place, old fool. They're about to execute me, Bambi. Let them know how you feel about that. Their kind continues to slaughter beasts like us without a care. Get it. Get it. From what I can see, they're sort of no. They will leave here unharmed. Get it, Bambi. Get it. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. Damn! You know they said this was a kid game. Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wonder here? Now, follow me. Gold Gold is still alive, and the coaches are after them. They know they're not keen to find my life in the moonlight, but they don't know the plans yet. Please help us find the snitches before the world changes. In the, in the south, south there is a there cave, is a cave within, within which lies, lies what the poachers seek. A moon slow. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. Poachers, Bambi. To a moon What do moonstones have to do with don't worry about it, you don't have to understand, bitch. I just want to capture me some snitches. So I can sell me some snitches. So I can breed me some snitches. Cause I'm a really a poacher! What do you do with my shoes, babe? Later. I can head to the line and start looking into the cave mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. What? Damn, dragging this out.
So, babe, who do you think is gonna learn Abracadabra first? Me or you? Huh? Yeah. Why do you sound so sad about it? Huh, babe? You don't want to give up on the game, remember that? I didn't give up on you, you never help. You never help. Help with what? There's never help. Help with what? What do you need help with? You always think about yourself. <laughs> How was that? I help you all the time. Little... What's wrong, babe? Nothing. I'm just in my period and feeling. Oh. We don't care. This is gonna be okay. I'm gonna look at Cadaver for both of us. No, you can go to hell. <laughs> You're my princess no, and I'm gonna help that. you. I'm gonna put that up there. I'm your, you're my apprentice. No, no. I'm gonna help my apprentice. Ah, that's me! I'm gonna help my apprentice beat the, beat the. You just gonna, all you need to do is do the flying part. I'm ready to take Hollow down. down. I know I you have, have a plan. plan. We must, we gather, must information gather information from, from the friends of Mr. Mr. Baker that Archie, Archie and Mrs. Baker, Baker mentioned. Agatha Philbert. Otto Duval and Mr. and Mrs. Webb. Alright, I suggest you speak with each of them while I head to the hogshead. I saw some ash windows hidden there. And as my mother will never go near the hogshead, she is less likely to look around and see the ash windows. Alright, I'll take you to the hogshead. 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 Alright, I'll take you and Otto, Otto Dibble, Dibble, he works, he works at Gladwax, so, so you will likely find, find him there. What sort, what sort of information, information are you trying, trying to gather, gather from, from these people? people? They may they know what evidence Mr. Bickle, Bickle had against Harlow, or, or they may they have, have evidence, evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Very well, I'll speak with them. See what I can do. I know I could rely on you. We need, we to, need know to know how they are being blackmailed, blackmailed by Rookwood and Hala. Meet me here after, after you have spoken with them. Hopefully, Hopefully by, the by the time you return, I, I will be able to move a bit more freely. After this quest, I'll jump on your character. Why? You want me to do that quest for that, sir? I said I'm losing interest in the game. Pretty hard. This is really being in my mind. Oh, it's good. We'll find time now. Yeah, it's getting there today. Mrs. Ray, I wondered if I might speak with you about the Ophelos Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? I'm a security guard at Gringotts. And my, and my husband is a curse breaker, breaker for them. Harlow approached me about, me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures, treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course, of course I declined. I declined. Repeatedly. Repeatedly. I thought I they'd given, given up. Until I came home one night and found my husband gone. gone. And a note and affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs. And that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help all I want is help that I cannot give. And my dearest Isco is paying the price. Why won't I help stalk your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried I'm sick about this guy, but he didn't want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, 
but those that he's confided, confided in, in joy, joy. He, would he would never have let that happen. happen. Thank, Thank you, you, Mrs. Mrs. Rabe. Knowing your lungs at Harlow will go to his house will be more than disturbing. Than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying, trying to help, help us, but now he's gone. gone. I don't, I don't know, know what, what to, to do. do. I shall, I shall do, all do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very, Very well. well. Here's, Here's the note I received. received. You must you be must careful, careful as well. well. Please, Please don't put yourself in danger. danger. Thank you. Now to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. Uh, uh, may I, I interest you in a stunning cravat today? today? Please, Please, sir, I would like to help. I spoke, I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm. All, right. All right, but we must, must be discreet. Be discreet. Can't help Mr. Hill hearing this. I know, I know still. He was, he was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's, oh, he's a, good a good man. man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you know who came into the shop. I had been behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he placed. I went into the store to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill. Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I don't say he has high hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say that I can never live without drugs. Could you, Could you give me a bit more, more detail, detail about the note, the note that might that help me to identify, identify it, should it should I come across it? It's on Rosie's special book station. It has a note at the top, or H. That's how this can be in the world. What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. All perspective, he'd see this as a great betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly and Rosie as well. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Where are they? We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Hello there. Excuse, Excuse me, me, Mr. Mr. Filbert. I wondered, I wondered if I might speak, speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus the Harlow. Harlow. I hate to ease Mrs. Bickle's, Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic. What happened to Bickle? 
He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation. And so I refused. If you had spoken out against him, as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But. Perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and pleated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling me. To punish, to punish me for having, having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprised Brookwood's lot. lot. Before, Before I knew it, it I'd been, been petrified. petrified. And Harlow was rifling through my home. He, he found the book of poetry, poetry with its with exquisite, exquisite gold plating. I watched, I watched it helplessly, helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core, still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. Do you mind, Do you mind if, if I share this information, information with Officer Singh? <sighs> I suppose I, suppose I, have, I no have no choice. choice. This extortion this can't, can't go on forever. forever. You can you pass can it pass on it to on anyone, anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, talking. as you as already, you already know. know. I've spoken with Mr. Mickle's friends. Now to find Matty. She was taken. No, she looks to use these girls coming to the <laughs> Captain Nanny, babe. Footprints led to this room. It must be another one.
I'll take care of this mission later. Like and subscribe if you like watching my videos. I always